Hi folks, welcome back to another Adobe Acrobat pre-flight tutorial. Today we're going to be talking about how to set up pre-flights to delete certain elements from any PDF file, specifically text elements, vector, or image uh, objects. In front of me I have three files. I'm going to open up the image objects first. And basically if I pop open my uh, content here on the left hand side, we can see that this PDF has several paths, it has several text uh, elements, and it also has a couple images here as well. These two basically flame icons here on the right hand side. So basically what we want to do is we want to set up a pre-flight to delete just these te or, uh, image elements and save the text and vector, uh, or as they call them, paths here. We want to save the paths and the images or text so that they are not affected when we delete the images. So I've already set these pre-flights uh, pre up, but I'll show you the settings that I used here. So if I go into my print production, if I go into pre-flight, I have three here that I've named all remove all images, remove all text, and remove all vector objects. So here I'm going to start and I'm going to click edit. And basically what I've named it is remove all images and just simply just says removes all images from PDF fairly simple so by default when we um, select this type of fix up and basically the one we're going to be using is called remove objects so if I type in remove you'll see this is the type of fix up we're going to apply and basically says removes defined objects from the PDF document so this allows you to be very specific as far as like what you're deleting so you can tell it you know a certain uh, spot color or a black object that's set to knock out you know there's tons of different ones here by default it's just going to be up here at the top that just says 100 percent black filled object set to knock out and so what i did here was um, i actually made a new edit and in this case we're going to be searching for all images right so uh oops did i put it up here um, let me cancel this. I don't want to. Okay, I just call it image objects. But if I click on edit here, I called it here when the uh, check fires report as image objects, and the specific uh, search parameter is is image. So if you type in is image, it says this checks check finds all objects that are of the type image and so once you click add it drops it down here and then by default it's set to is not true and so you want to change this to is true so that way it's going to search through the whole PDF document find any images that are on the page and then using the fix up it's going to remove those from the PDF so I'll hit OK and I'll hit fix and I'll just save this as underscore um, images removed. I hit save. It will go ahead and run the, the pre-flight and as you can see behind me the two flames have been deleted and you can see here in the results from the pre-flight there were two objects that were deleted and if I go back into my content here and open this up those two uh, image elements are gone all of the paths and the text are si are still uh, intact, basically, though. So let's just say for whatever reason I didn't like those, I want to delete them. Now, obviously, I can open this up in uh, Illustrator and just delete those out if I wanted to. Um, but let's say you have issues with fonts or something like that, so you didn't want to mess around with that, and you like the rest of the uh, PDF that you're working with, or let's say this was you know hundreds or even thousands of pages long, and you just want to go ahead and delete that all from the same PDF, the pre-flight is the fastest way to do it. So that's for that's the setup for the images. Now if I go into text, it's going to be very similar. So this is another flyer, and I want to basically just delete all of these uh, text elements from the page. So if I go back into my pre-flight, I have one here for uh, text, and if I click edit, I have it here set to apply to text objects is what I called it, and if I click edit, there's text objects and then this is basically is text so same thing if you search out is text it's going to 
find any objects that are of type text make sure it's set to is true hit ok hit ok again run the fix and then we're going to call this text removed hit save found 12 objects and then all the text is now deleted and as you can see all of the paths and I don't think these are any images but if they were um, they are still here these looks like these are all paths but basically it's gone and deleted any text but it's left the um, paths and the images and then the last one we're going to do is for vector objects and so this one I don't have any images I just have a whole bunch of fill-in text and then I have this hideous blue background and these two borders we actually had a situation like this at, at uh, uh, my job the other day where we had to delete all sorts of borders like this on like a I think it was like a 250 page PDF file because the customer wanted a different type of background and the border was basically in the way of where we were going to place an image so we had to find a way to quickly delete all of these um, background um, uh, borders from the PDF and like I said it was several hundred pages long this one here is a uh, 18 pager and if I click on the contents here you can see I have some path uh, three different paths for the border and then for the um, uh, background and then there's the rest of it is all just these this massive text file so if I go back in we're gonna make one last change go to the pre-flight I have one here called vector images and if you click edit I labeled it as vector objects click edit and then basically the same thing vector objects here is vector object and again if you search that out is vector it's gonna find all objects that are of type vector vector object is any arbitrary shape made up of straight lines rectangles or curves so this is not only gonna find a border it's gonna find a background it's gonna find a fill so any of that stuff make sure it's set to true hit OK hit OK let's run the fix and call it vectors remove hit save 54 objects found you can see our border and our background have disappeared and if I scroll through even though every page is the same the text is still intact just like it was before we ran the pre-flight and that but all of our borders and backgrounds are done so that's a way to uh, quickly delete any specific object from a PDF using the text image or vector object um, uh, pre-flights in Acrobat Pro hopefully that helps out somebody as always if you guys have a question please feel free to leave it down below I'm happy to help and as always please like share and subscribe and I will catch you on the next one